it's me pavitran today i'm going to discuss that uh, the two point uh, strategy which i've been following lately um many of those will really be wondering in crude oil two point stop loss uh, i must be kidding right um, actually i'm not i'm just uh, going to explain uh, how this is going to work uh whether it's actually work or uh, uh it whether actually works only in crude oil or some other script i haven't tried that in other scripts i'm just only tried this setup in um, crude oil okay when do we actually have to take trade and uh, what are the conditions we should be looking out uh, before taking the trade or you can just try with uh, simple 2.2.0 plus no there are certain condition which you should be following if the conditions are satisfied then you can take trade uh, whenever the conditions are satisfied you can take trade but how much point you should be booking for uh, profit that's actually based on you i usually wait for uh, uh, somewhere around 20 to 50 points um after taking a trade after initiating a trade i will wait to book somewhere around 20 points or 50 points if i'm lucky enough uh, i would uh, get uh, somewhere around 100 points on very volatile day um just saying this that even in this volatile period we can able to use this strategy the two point strategy i will just go into the video about what happened yesterday what happened yesterday uh, what are the levels which i have marked and it will be easy for you okay hmm. okay what is what happened okay um when was the levels which i marked i said clearly that 15 20 and 16 20 is the level to watch for yesterday uh, as you can see the cell at 12 30 broke my level and see the next candle the broken candle the previous candle high has been triggered so as i said in my previous video two videos before um, i said it clearly whenever the candle broke you should keep that candle as a reference as high of the stop loss or low as a stop loss see this is the candle which broke my um, level somewhere around 15 20 at uh, 12 30 of the you, you will be in the trade where you should keep your stop loss the stop loss should be initiated at the candles reference this is the candle same to the D candle if you have placed order at um, 1519 say you have placed and sell bill order at 1519 it target uh, it has been initiated order has been triggered and it's falling down now where you have to keep stop loss you have to wait for this candle close now the candle closed below 15 dollar now where you have to keep the stop loss just high one to two percent is okay for me the if you can see the next candle the high has been broken if the high has been broken it is a clear indication for me that it is trying to reverse in opposite direction so we have to be very careful with that so we can't simply uh, say that um, uh, 16 uh, 15 20 is broken keep uh, stop loss as uh, 16 no i am not recommending that uh, the candle whichever gets broken you have to wait for that candle close after the candle gets closed you have to move your stop loss to the candle which had broken the high or maybe low uh, see on another time i said oh, 16 20 why i have said 16 see this region it had rejected from here and the same it had rejected from here so i said in the morning that the region to look out is 1620 see a high made was somewhere around 1614 from this region it got rejected again if you can see if you have placed order uh, buy a board or somewhere around 1621 22 this order has triggered now where you have to you have to wait for the candle to close now where you have to put your stop loss your stop loss should be somewhere around the low of this candle now plus or one one or two cents is okay let's see how much it rallied i was expecting rally somewhere around uh, two to five dollar range okay 16 20 and see it doesn't break the previous low candle itself
if the previous low candle has been breached then sellers are trying to come into the market but as you can see uh, the low hasn't been breached it was uh, continuously um, making an higher higher lows as you can very see very clearly this is the place where it broken uh, the two dollar range but it can't able to sustain here if you see rejection after a rally like this maybe around two to three dollar rally if you see rejection you can initiate a trade by taking the rejection high as your result you can just initiate a small risk counter trade we can say it as a retracement you can say it as a pullback for the trend you can say whatever term you want but where should be your high the high should be the recent one which is which has formed just recently say um, i posted a, i posted a screenshot in my group uh, somewhere around 8 that uh, uh, is starting to show some rejection let's see the steam of the bulls is gone or not after this candle it uh, tried to broke above high but it came down again so i initiated my trade in 20 30 candle itself yesterday i initiated a trade at night i will explain you why i initiated now let's go and look out now what are the levels you should be watching for the main level you is watching for the recent high which is found here 18 dollar high so you should break above this recent high and for further going up yesterday high has to be break on somewhere around uh, uh, okay 1850 for bullishness to continue on the market 1850 has to be broken and for bearishness to kick in already bearishness started but um, for a full flow of bearishness um, i will we will mark this area if possible so why in this region you should be watching out for why because um it is it has taken support here it has taken resistant here it has taken resistant here it has taken resistant here. now it had taken support here yesterday and it trying to went all the way up now it may take support but you should be looking for rejection in the lower side um, to confirm that buyers are still in the market if it breaks then in closes below the 16 dollar region then we can expect a fall how much fall can we expect uh, let's say uh, uh, first target somewhere around this region suits nice for me 1450 or 14 oh no problem let's mark this region if uh, it's broken and close and below 16 then we can expect uh, 14 to 13 dollar range with uh, whatever said criteria just focus on that if a uh, high hasn't been broken the candle which closed below then you can go for a strong sell now let's check um, and explain what trade i initiated yesterday i hope that will be useful for you just to give it a minute okay i will be explaining you um, how we took the trade okay uh, i was not in a buy side because uh, stop loss is uh, more, more than what i actually expected um, i can't able to get in a trade because of that um, as i said yesterday see here uh, on this candle at uh, 20 i said that uh, steam is going to let go off i entered somewhere around um, 20 30 what is the two point stop loss which i tried so this is the high that has been formed and look at the high uh, 14 14 so i just placed my order at uh, 14 13 high as 14 15 that's a two point right i entered at uh, placed my sell order at uh, 14 12 sorry 14 13 and my stop loss is around 14 15 why i am actually uh, am placing my order at uh, 14 13 because uh, most of the time market comes near um, 14 40 the previous high and it will get uh, some resistance there and will try to go down if i place exactly at 14 40 14 14 my order may not get filled in um, so i'm just placing my order at uh, 14 13 
stop loss just above one point above that um, of uh, high of this uh, candle my stop loss has been broken uh, it has broken and went to and formed a, it really it went near 24 now after breaking my high i thought i i switched into 15 minutes time frame and i was just waiting uh, after this candle closes i again place my order at see look of the candle 1424 this is high 1424 so now what order i have placed i place my order at 1423 with 1425 as stop loss what had happened look what happened here high was 1423 my order has not been triggered because it has to sustain few more minutes on the price or above if it uh, if it touched 1424 my, my order would have get filled in i know this kind of things might happen so i place my order at uh, 1421 order and the next order at 1423 with two point stop loss the order which i have placed at um, 1420 i placed uh, five point stop loss one order got triggered in that is the 1420 order got triggered in um, and see the fall i booked at 90 itself i was uh, expecting a more fall but uh, Mm, uh, since I don't have enough time during that I just booked with whatever points I got there because it's like a retracement you can't expect a major fall but after that see the rally it had happened no I did not expect this much rally to happen mm, but I was expecting somewhere around um, quick um, 50 points uh, I was okay with uh, 30 points that's further okay for me this is the two point strategy which I am following let me explain you today whether this is applicable or not even today this is the first candle which has formed here just look for the high of this candle 14.5 so when you should do this uh, most of the time if the trend is going against you though so if you see in uh, crude oil uh, trend is now starting to come down but uh, in indian markets is starting to go up so what you can do um, if you see these kind of scenarios you can just place an order at uh, 1404 and uh, 1406 as your stop loss if you had placed an order got triggered in then see the results of that just a two point stop loss and i even tried to place that same strategy uh, somewhere around 8.30 candle yeah this is the candle I think yeah mm. see I placed order uh, after seeing this 18.30 candle I placed my order here uh, place my order at uh, see this uh, okay uh, 18.30 see this high is uh, 13.26 I place my order at uh, 13.25 13.27 as stop loss yeah stop loss has been triggered no problem I am explaining you what are the trades I have done um, on this candle why I have taken the trade here because in India market it got stuck in upper circuit and uh, upper circuit got lifted only at around 11 o'clock in the meantime if I see crude US crude oil it was trading in downtrend a short uh, retracement for that so that is the time I actually place my order see what is the high I is somewhere around um, 30, uh, 12 38 i place my order at 1237 39 as stop loss two point that did not get triggered in but see the fall it made after that i what is the high of this candle uh its candle high is 1233 i place my order at uh, this candle uh somewhere around 12 o'clock i place my order at um, uh, 1232 with uh, 34 as stop loss mm, i made was only 12:30. we missed this by um, somewhere around two points mm, that is okay for me and uh, yeah this one why uh, around 15 mm, that means around three o'clock after this candle rally i placed my order at somewhere around um, uh, 12 mm, high was what is this high 1252 i place my order at 1251 and stop loss is 53 uh, it it might have triggered but uh, i entered lately i can explain you what happened here this is the time 
see this candle that was the this red candle you can see during this time right a small red candle which formed that is the reason for that that was that was it was uh, there was a rejection at 1620 i was expecting that it will get rejected in there but i entered lately uh, after it touched uh, 1252 and it was uh, trading somewhere around 1230 i placed my order afterwards so um, after this candle i should have placed that uh, if you miss the timing okay when you should enter um, yeah, as you can see if you find any rejection place I will say what are the condition you should be looking out to enter what are the condition you have to check US chart first and you have to simultaneously keep tab on uh, Indian chart if uh, crude got stuck in um, upper circuit or lower circuit uh, say for example as of today it got stuck in yesterday it got stuck in upper circuit but the crude was trading in lower circuit now where you can place the trade the same trade which I explained this is the first condition you should look for trend on both the cases if you find it both going oppositely or vice versa you can initiate this kind of trades with small stop loss and when you find resistance in uh, either in uh, uh, US oil or if you find a resistance in uh, uh, MCX you can just go in place your order say if say for example at uh, 3 o'clock um, WTA crude was trading somewhere around 16.10 it was it uh, it was uh, trading near that region I waited for this candle to get closed after get close and at 15.30 this is was the high at 15.30 I initiated my sell order at 12.51 by placing it at a, that is how I should have done mm, that was a perfect entry perfect time for entry uh, you you can have maximum of uh, one to two minutes uh, to enter to place your order at place your sell order or buy order you should wait for a 30 minutes candle to get closer and you should place your order um, within a minute so that uh, if price comes um, you, you might get your order might get filled in uh, similarly in these situations uh, if you had changed into 30 minutes or uh, 15 minutes time frame, you can find out what uh, I was trying to say and even this candle uh, the after this candle got closer so the next uh, minute uh, the market opens at the next candle right nine o'clock 31 minutes that you should put your entry somewhere around 1404 with stop losses uh, 1406 just two points stop loss is enough i always assume you uh, say, say no i will be booking somewhere around um, 20 to 50 points um, why i am suggesting is risk reward is so much for us um, it is always better to be with uh, risk reward that much for uh, i can even trade um 28 times with the same strategy i can lose 28 times the same strategy i don't mind but uh, when one rally comes everything will vanish us out because we have an edge of only two point stop loss say for example um, on the yesterday on closing I can't able to trade this uh, as you can see um, this is a long fall say somewhere around um, it is it's falling from 1422 uh, nearly it had fallen 120 points okay if a market has fallen straight to somewhere around um, 140 points what the market usually do it slightly retraces right so uh, we can just take a position right it closed here uh, the next candle uh, after closing you should wait for candle to close after cl closing you immediately should punch in your order uh, what is the low check for the low is um, somewhere around 1269 so you should punch in order at 1270 by order and the stop loss at uh, 1268 if you had punched in the order your order get filled immediately if your order got filled see you have got 40 points this is the rally i'm just talking about just a retracement rally that's what i advise you to do you can book uh, if your order gets filled in if you are lucky enough uh, you will be in the trade most of the time you will be in the trade if you are booked around um, 
uh, if you uh, place your order uh, within uh, 20 to 30 seconds um, price might come in and then uh, you can just be in the trade uh, uh, like I said I traded at um, I, I will trade as um, I will explain you what are the trades uh, I have done I traded here I traded here I attempted to trade there no nothing happened I traded here but uh, that's my fault that I actually missed the one uh, these things on the morning trades I can't able to trade this uh, around 15:30 I missed the trade and at uh, 18:30 I placed my order stop loss triggered at uh, 20 my stop loss triggered then at uh, 20 30 my order did not get filled in and uh, around uh, th uh, it's 11 o'clock but i can't able to trade this um, mainly because uh, mcx closing time is around um, 11 30 so my order won't get punched in so say for example uh, one trade i haven't initiated this trade stop loss is two this state stop loss is two and um, if you are lucky enough if this uh, trade gets even filled in say so just look at the points which we have got the same now uh, 40 points uh, what 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 was our loss um somewhere around four points what is the profit we have got somewhere around 40 points so we are in the risk reward of uh, one is to ten you can even lose uh, ten straight trades with this two point strategy no matter what always be free but with the one rally if you get got in then you will be rewarded same way um, say you can even try with this or well, see what is the um, because it's a falling trend you can just wait for retracement we don't know whether exactly how where it's going to retrace so see look out for the candle high in somewhere around uh, 10 30 look for the high of this candle uh, 1371 so you can place your order at 1370 sell order and place stop losses 1372 if you are lucky enough you will find this little retracement till that um, 1731 level and it can fall back but that is not happening if it happened you would have been a nice profit just work out on this uh, ask whatever doubt you have leave it in the comments i will just answer you Thank you.